Good morning, families. Um, so a couple of things. One, want to talk about who you guys can reach out to and what kind of everybody's roles are on all the different campuses. So while I am the principal on all the campuses, you guys are going to have a hard time getting me. Um, if you're just stopping in without an appointment to see me, I may or may not be on whichever campus you're looking for me on. Um, I do start my mornings on the two Bethany's and then I go to college prep and then I go back to the Bethany's and back and forth all day. So um, if you have a child in preschool, kinder or first grade, you need to be reaching out to Miss Hernandez. Miss Hernandez is the assistant principal on the Bethany main campus. And that's going to be Hernandez.Lucia, L-U-C-I-A, at SomersetAcademyBethany.org. If you have a child in second through fifth grade, you need to be reaching out to Miss Davidson on the satellite campus. Miss Davidson is Davidson.Megan at SomersetAcademyBethany.org. If you need something um, from the Middle High campus, if your student is in grades 6 through 12, 6 through 12, you're going to reach out to Ms. Davenport, and that is Davenport, D-A-V-E-N-P-O-R-T, dot Lisa at SomersetCollegePrep.org, SomersetCollegePrep.org. All right, so again, those are your three contacts with the three different campuses. So it, it goes, you know, I, I function more like over top of all three of them. And then each of those three ladies are over those campuses. If it is discipline related at the college prep campus, then you can also reach out to Mr. Rivera or Mr. Horn. They are the deans of discipline. So Mr. Rivera and Mr. Horn. Horn is H-O-R-N-E dot David at Somerset College Prep dot org. Mr. Rivera is Rivera dot O dot J. I have no idea what Mr. Rivera's email is, so we will get that and, and get it posted in the com com comments. Um, sorry about that. And if it is, um, if it's related to attendance at college prep, then you're going to want to send it to Miss Peggy. And that is Miraglia, M I R A G L I A dot Peggy at SomersetCollegePrep.org. If it is attendance related at the two Bethany campuses, uh, then you're going to want to email Miss Gunning, G U N N I N G dot Maureen, M A U R E E N, at Somerset Academy Bethany dot org. And that's for anything attendance related at the two Bethany's. If it is preschool or aftercare related, please reach out to Miss Endicott or enrollment related uh, at either of the two Bethany's. Um, it is Endicott, E N D I C O T T dot Shannon at Somerset Academy Bethany dot org. So you do have different people that you can reach out to at all the different campuses uh, if there is something that you need so that you're not waiting on me to get back to you. Also, please keep in mind that all three campuses have a 48 business hour window policy. So if you do send an email, then my people do have 48 business hours um, within which to respond to you. So if you send an email at nine o'clock in the morning and you send another one at 10 and then you start calling at 11 saying nobody's answered you, yeah, nobody's answered you. <laughs> we are uh, spending our days taking care of the littles and um, we get to our emails as quickly as we can, uh, but we do ask for 48 business hours to get back to you. Uh, and that's for your teachers too, not just the office staff and administration, but for your teachers too, 48 business hours to get back to you. Uh, and then if you're, if your response, if you don't receive a response within 48 business hours, then go ahead and resend that email and this time copy me and just say following up. All right. And that will indicate to me that they haven't gotten back to you and I will make sure that they do. Um, for guidance over at College Prep, you, if you don't know who your guidance counselor is, go ahead and, and put guidance at summersetcollegeprep.org. Make sure that you include the grade level of your student in the subject line because that's what's going to indicate who the guidance counselor is. Um, so I, I've noticed a bunch of parents haven't been getting responses because they've been emailing one guidance counselor 
and that's not their guidance counselor. Um, now what should be happening is they should be forwarding it to each other. Uh, but if it, if you don't include your grade level, then it's kind of hard for them to figure it out. So, um, and then the parents who send emails and say, my student, my son, my daughter, and don't give us the names of your student. It's really hard for us to figure that one out. Also, especially if the last names aren't the same. So if you can please, 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 when you send an email to anyone on any campus, please include your student's first and last name and your student's grade level. That will help us to, to be able to help you more quickly. Um, okay, I think that's everything. Oh, and um, also make sure that you are signed up for the text blasts from each campus. And if your teachers specifically have their own text blasts, make sure you're signed up for that as well. Um, I realized recently that a lot of the parents are signed up for their teacher's text blasts, not realizing there's a school text blast as well. So make sure you're signed up for all of that. Um, for the parents who are saying that they, they are signed up, but they haven't gotten a message in a while,